Get ready for an Adams Archives Studio Master. Today, three lucky people are going to match wits on the all-new game show that's all about country music and country stars. Come on along with us now and join the fun. It's time to play Bandango. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, the happy host with the questions and something extra. This time, it's Bill Anderson. Thank you. Oh, you're very nice, and I thank you very much. We got Big Bill and Little Bill here. Some of you have written in and said you saw Jamie, my son, on the show last year. Now, let's see. Last year, you were how old when you were on? Four. And this year, you are? Five. And you're going to be back when you are? Uh, six. <laughs> Somebody asked you before the show to sing still. What did you tell them? Uh, I didn't know it. It ain't my kid. <laughs> I know some of it, but not all of it. You know any of Daddy's songs? Uh, a lot of them. Okay, we'll work on that a little later. You want to go with me over here to meet the contestants on sure. Fandango? All right, hang on to me here. Let's meet the people that have come to play Fandango with us this time. This lady's name is Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Hello, Bill. My well, name is Carolyn Kennedy, and I'm from Gray, Kentucky. I'm a typesetter at a local newspaper there. Gee, I thought newspapers had gotten to the point where they were so automated they didn't have typesetters anymore. Oh, well, we have computers. Yeah, we're getting into that slowly. Well, good to have you here in Nashville with us, and good luck to you on Fandango. Thank you. Michael, hello to you and welcome. Hi, Bill. My name what is Mike. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mike Tullis, and I'm from Slidell, Louisiana, but I go to school up at Ole Miss, the University of Mississippi. Now, you said Tullis, and it came out sounding yes, a lot sir. like Tillis, Tillis. And a lot of people are probably saying, are you kin to mail? No, sir, but I do sing and write music, so uh, I hope it's a good omen. Do you stutter? No, 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 no. <laughs> you may when this show's over. Betty Lusk is our current champion. Betty, remind everybody about you. I'm Betty Lusk from Nashville, originally from Lubbock, Texas, and I'm a housewife. And you're a good champion. Betty, Michael, and Carolyn are all here to play the game. Jamie's here to help me out. You want, you want to say real quick now, stay tuned for the commercial. All right, now you can say it. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for the commercial and we'll be back to play round one on Fandango. <laughs> All right, we're back to Fandango. Carolyn and Michael, y'all are the new kids on the block. Let me tell you how we go about playing this game. We have two kinds of questions. We have toss-up questions, and we have bonus questions. On the toss-ups, all three players are eligible. The first one to flash in and give me the correct answer earns 10 points and a chance to answer a bonus question. Now, you choose your category for the bonus question from these. A Night at the Opry, Color My World, Potluck, See the USA, Christy Lane is our star of the day. We have a category on middle names, love, the Southern gentleman, and believe it or not. Now, when you get to the bonus question, what you do is you pick your category and you wager any number of points up to the total amount that you've already accumulated. Get the question right, we'll add that to your score, get it wrong, and we take it away. We play two rounds, highest score wins, plays meet the stars for our grand prize. I need to tell you one other thing now. One of those nine squares has been designated as our secret square. The folks at home are looking at that right now. They know what it is and you don't, but when you choose that square and get the question right, then you'll be awarded double the amount of points that you wager, okay? Boy, Edgar. I'm glad that Jamie's shy. <laughs> I have a feeling I, my career would be very short as a jukebox if he wasn't shy. Thank you, Jamie, for being shy. Isn't he, darling? Thank you very He's much. Uh, really some, someday bring your son on the show. He must take after your wife. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Hands on your buttons. Let's go for the first ten points of the day. According to a song that he sang, Conway Twitty might be lying there beside you. Michael. With Linda on his mind. But who would he have on his mind? Linda is right. You got it? <laughs> Didn't even let me finish. And the man from Ole Miss has 10. Okay, how many of those 10 are you going to wager? Uh, I'd like to try 10 on Color My World, Bill. On Color My World. I know it's on there somewhere. There it is. Okay, now questions in this category all relate to a certain color mentioned in country songs. I want you to listen to this song by a good old country singer named Tom Jones and tell me what color is mentioned in the title. Well, I wake up in the morning with my head down in my eyes, and she says, I. 
green. That's little right. green apples. Little green Ooh. apples. Boy, you just barely got oh, in under the wire. <laughs> kind of hard to tell what that song was just from that little bit right there. Okay, Michael's got the first 20 points of the day. Now listen closely and think on this question. In her song, Coal Miner's Daughter, Loretta Lynn said her father raised eight kids on a miner's pay. Now, including his wife, how many dependents could he claim on his income tax return every year? Michael. Ten, he could include himself also. That's right. You're a pretty smart boy. I thought we'd trick you on that. <laughs> they must teach you good at Ole Miss. What are you majoring in down there? Uh, just business. Okay. You've got uh, 30 points worth of business there. What are you going to do? Got to go for the ladies. Go for love. Oh, okay. 10 points. Just 10 points. <laughs> you just picked our secret category. You wager 10. That means we give you 20 out of the secret square. One of this artist's biggest hits was entitled, I Will Always Love You. Dolly Parton. You're right, Miss Dolly. <laughs> hey, ladies, I think we got a live wire up here. <laughs> Betty, you and Carolyn, you're going to have to be quick and pretty sharp on this one. This singer has one of the most distinctive voices in country music today. Edgar's going to play it. Tell me who's singing. As her key and Carolyn. Lee Greenwood. Lee Greenwood is right. <laughs> a lot of You're people think he good. sounds like Kenny Rogers. I was prepared for somebody to say Kenny. You got 10, Carolyn. How many are you going to wager? I'll uh, put 10 on, believe it or not. All right. We've already given our secret square for this time, so we'll stay with the 10. True or false question on believe it or not. Ernest Tubb was once a beer salesman for a brewery owned by Howard Hughes. True or false? False. You know, I would have said the same thing, but Ernest Tubb in 1938 worked for the Southern Brewing oh. Company in Corpus Christi, Texas. Isn't that an amazing? You learn all kinds of things on this show. I'm sorry, Carolyn. I hate to take your points away, but that was a true statement as, believe it or not, far-fetched as it sounds. You big meanie. I'm going to give away something, a real nice prize to the next person, and it's coming out of your pocket. It's dinner for two at Four Points Family oh, Restaurants, yeah. chicken, seafood, and so forth. Yes, it is. With quality home-style cooking, fast, friendly service at an affordable price, Four Folks is more than good food. It's a good feeling. I wouldn't give away your records. <laughs> okay. Maybe. In his song, King of the Road, Roger Miller sings about riding in the third box car on the midnight train. What is his destination, city and state? Carolyn. Bangor, Maine. Bangor, Maine is right. <laughs> okay, you got those 10 back. What do we do this time? Uh, we'll go with uh, 10 at uh, potluck. On the potluck category? Oh, that could just be anything. You don't know what may be in there. This young man has certainly had his share of hits in the past few years. I just want you to listen and tell me who's singing. We got smooth sailing, sailing, looks like every Well, you've heard him a million times. Oh, golly. Who is it? Uh, Don Williams? No, not Don Williams. Is it Betty? Doesn't know? Audience know? T.G. T.G. Shepherd. Shepherd. Yeah, course. we were looking for the good shepherd there. One of his big hits. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't so big. Okay, Carolyn's <laughs> back down to odd. Betty, come on, champ. I'm going to sing a little bit of a country song, and when I stop, you sing the next line, okay? Ever since you went away, I die a little more each day. Michael. I say, and I'm crying my heart out over you. You sing better than I do, and that ain't hard. You got it. Right. Oh, I tell you, would it make you sing without a guitar and just jump in? It's hazardous. <laughs> you got 60 points. What do you do? I'm still chicken. I'm just going to go 10 on, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. They're brutal. Ten I'm, on I'm a chicken. One. Okay, uh, see the USA. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they'll, they'll say, bet them all, bet them all, and you bet them all. Nah, throw him away and pick up another one. <laughs> Songs in this category all mention certain cities or states in the United States. Mel McDaniel had a top 10 hit about Saturday night. According to the song, they were dancing in the kitchen in what state? My own home state, Louisiana. I was going to say, if you miss that one, you can't go home. You've been in big trouble. All right, Michael has got 70 points, and the ladies don't have anything at the moment. Okay, pay attention now. I want you to listen to Edgar, and then I want you to signal and perform the action that is mentioned in the title of this song. No, that ain't it. That's uh, the Fandango. Push <laughs> the wrong button here. Push the right one, Edgar. <laughs> uh, I broke. Huh? <laughs> Go on to the next question. I can't find it. 
<laughs> some jukebox, <laughs> some co-host you are. Okay, get, get your Jamie pants and pepper here. and get ready to write over there. I'll give you 50 points for this one. Edgar, you go somewhere and try to fix yourself. Get Jamie. <laughs> Jamie can be the jukebox. Okay, for 50 points, write down the answer. Barbara Mandrell has more reason than most people to celebrate on her birthday because her birthday falls on a major holiday. Is Barbara's birthday New Year's Day, Christmas, or the 4th of July? For 50 points. <laughs> hey, we having a good time. <laughs> Edgar, I want to replace you with a computer, I think, one of these days. All right, let's see. Carolyn, let me see what you said. Did you know the answer no. to this one? Been a lot of publicity about that. You didn't know? And you wrote Christmas. Like you wrote the right answer. Oh, you sure yeah. did. Good guess. Give her 50. <laughs> Betty's shaking her head. Oh, Betty thought it was fireworks on the 4th of July. Honey, we don't give away any points on that. Make that two of us. Did you think 4th of July, too? Well, look at there. Now the plot thickens. Michael's got 70. Carolyn's got 50. Betty's still our champ, and she's a fast finisher. We'll be back to see how fast we finish this one right after this. Some contestants on Fandango will receive a lightweight nylon three-person Sundance One Hexdome 10. Freestanding design with rain fly provides increased interior space while deflecting outside wind and rain. Furnished by Campways. Walls home haircutting kit. Lightweight clipper, four attachment combs, scissors, barber comb, and instruction booklet. Furnished by Wall. Contestants on Fandango may win a trip to the Fiesta Los Tules Hotel, Tennis Club, and Resort Condominium Development. Gourmet restaurants and swimming pools on the lush tropical beach of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Or the Continental Hotel, new luxury hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, featuring 400 elegant rooms, Olympic-sized pools, surrounded by park and greens. Or a windjammer barefoot cruise for two. Casual sailing adventure in the exotic Caribbean for both old salts and landlubbers. Take off your shoes and sail away with windjammer. Or Keller's beautiful memories dining furniture made of golden finished solid oak. Truly heirloom quality because it's built with good old fashioned pride. Memories dining suit by Keller. And here he is, our luxury, Bill Anderson. <laughs> Moving to round two, Michael's in the lead with 70 points. Carolyn's got 50. Our champ hadn't gotten any yet, but the day you became champ, you didn't have any at this point, and you won, so good luck. In the second round, as you know, Betty and Michael and Carolyn, the toss-up questions are now double. They're worth 20 points each. We've got a brand-new secret square. You folks at home, take a look at it. That's the one. If you choose that one, then, of course, you get double what you wager. At Roy A. Cuff's new home in the Opryland Complex in Nashville, the mailbox is an unusual shape. Is it shaped like a fiddle, a boot? Carolyn. Fiddle. No. A yo-yo or a locomotive? Betty. Yo-yo. No. <laughs> Michael, uh, you're the only one left. You want to take a shot at it? Locomotive. What's your button? Locomotive. Yes, you're right. It's shaped like a locomotive. <laughs> I thought it was a yo-yo. Right? I thought it was Are you a Irish? That was the luck of the Irish right there. <laughs> you got 90 so. points. How many do you want to wager in what category? Oh. Oh, don't do that. Oh. Let's go, let's go 20 this time. I'm a chicken, I'm sorry. Which, which category? Give me a category. Let's go love. Go try love one more yes, time? Yes, sir. All right. I want you to listen to this love song and tell me the name of the young lady who is singing. Here's some love. Take a little bit of it home with you. Charlie McLean? No, not Charlie McLean. Tanya Tucker. Tanya Tucker's who we were looking for, so no cigar on that That's one. why I didn't bet big. <laughs> Edgar, are you working now? I think so. We're going to give it a shot. Anyway. I'm going to try this question one more time. Now, don't goof it this time, all right? I won. I won. I Remember won, the two, one a while three, ago where I said I wanted you to signal and perform the action that is mentioned in the title of this song, if the gentleman would kindly play the song. Hey, girl, what you doing down there? Betty. Real hard. Laugh. Had a gal knock three times. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> Didn't know if they heard the first three or not. Okay, now you're on the board. You got 20 points. How many of those you want to wager in what category? I got 20 on um, Save the USA. All right. Here. 50. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Jamie I rooting for you. <laughs> My son's telling her to bet 50. Thank Here's Gene Autry singing about a pretty girl. I want you to listen and tell me what city 
this girl is from, a city in the U.S.A. I drove a herd of cattle down from old Nebraska way. That's how I come to be in the state of Iowa. Need the city. I met a no. Sioux City, Sioux. Sioux City, Sioux City, Iowa is what we were looking for. I'm going to give away something now. I'm working, boy. I'm working now. <laughs> Surprise for the next right answer here. Mmm, Super Seal Food Savers at stores everywhere. Independent test show Super Seal keeps food fresh as the more expensive home party brand. So you save money by Super Seal. You get the next one right. You don't have to buy it. We're going to give it to you free and also for nothing. The group Alabama has had a lot of success in the last few years. Give me the name of one of the members. Of Michael. Betty. Bobby. Randy Owen. Randy Owen is certainly one of them. Of course, Teddy Gentry, Jeff Cook, and Mark Herndon are the others. You got those 20 back. The Secret Square is still up there. I'll go 15 on Color My World. All right. That is not the Secret Square. It's still there. Poor old Kalaja in Hank Williams' song had never been kissed. No wonder his poor old wooden face was what color? Red. Of course it was. His <laughs> face was red. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 35 for Betty. Close, uh, the game gets closer. Reba McIntyre sure getting a lot of attention lately with her success on the country charts. Listen and tell me the name of this song. More and more. That is Edgar. <laughs> That's Webb Pierce, Edgar. I said Reba McIntyre. Well, they look a little alike. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you look like a mix master, too. Get straight. I'm trying. In a hit song by... We're here. Wait a minute. I get it. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, wait, I'm going to do this one first. In a hit song by Sonny... Yeah. <laughs> must be catching. In a hit song by Sonny James, Running Bear jumps in the water to be with his love. Michael. Little White Dove. Little White Dove. I wanted her name, and that's it. Okay, you got 90. How many you want to wager? Which category? <laughs> Ten, just ten. I got at least gains. I got at least gains. Which category? Uh, potluck. Well, that's liable to be anything. You get potluck. You shouldn't have any trouble with this one. Listen and tell me the singers on this song. Edgar. Never felt like this until I kissed ya. Uh, the Everly Brothers. The Everly Brothers, right? <laughs> Oh, okay. Now it's 50 point catch up time. Everybody get your paper and pen and get ready to write. I hope Edgar doesn't have to play anything on this one. <laughs> hey, this, this game could go any way. Now, let me explain to you. A right answer gives you 50 points, a wrong answer is minus 50. Any one of the three of you could conceivably win the game on this question. Now, listen closely. Johnny Cash said this, and I quote He is like a Cadillac, he'll always be the standard for comparison because of his beautiful simplicity of lyrics that effectively... How can I read if you're gonna sit back there and play records? Cool it. Uh, this must've been something I ate. <laughs> <laughs> Something's gonna eat you in a minute. I'm gonna start over, because this is serious. Johnny Cash said this, and I quote, he is like a Cadillac. He'll always be the standard for comparison because of his beautiful simplicity of lyrics that effectively communicates heart-to-heart -heart ideas. What I wanna know is what Hall of Famer Johnny was referring to when he made that statement. For 50 points, if you don't know, you can take a shot at it. It's, if it's, since it's minus 50, do you have to answer it? <laughs> you get minus 50 if you don't. <laughs> yeah, it does. Huh? Could you can I read it time? one more time? Everything else has gone wrong on this show. I might as well read it one more time. Johnny Cash said, he is like a Cadillac. He'll always be the standard for comparison because of his beautiful simplicity of lyrics that effectively communicate heart-to-heart -heart ideas. Who is he talking about quick? Playing any music to write by, Edgar? Nope. You are real tacky today, Edgar. You really are tacky. Any an answer, turn it over, write it down. All right, now, here we go. 50 points plus, champ, you need this one real bad. I think if you really thought about that statement, you might have gotten it right. Good guess, Way but not right. It's not Roy Acuff that we're looking for. Aww. Let me see what Carolyn said. Carolyn's looking at me like maybe she got the answer. She said, Hank Williams, he is the Cadillac, and this lady just got herself 50 points. Now, now let me tell you, because it gets real serious here. If Michael got it right, Michael wins, and he's our new champion. If Michael missed it, Carolyn wins, and Carolyn's our new champion. I like champion. Johnny Cash. We are looking right here for Hank Williams, and we got Hank Williams, and Michael wins the game. He's
is our new champ. Congratulations. Edgar, no telling what you got for him. Oh, it's elegant polished brass table lamps with pleated shade, three-way energy-saving fluorescent for better lighting and better sight from Creators Incorporated. Betty, you've been a good champion. Thank you. Give everybody in love with our best. Carolyn, so, so close. Good luck to you. Thank you. We'll be back to play Meet the Stars right after this. Michael Tellis is our new champion. Congratulations. You just won the game. You got a chance now to win our grand prize by playing Meet the Stars with Christy Lane, who happens to be our star of the day. Edgar's got some great prizes. Turn around and he'll tell you what the grand prize is. Oh, it's Keller's Beautiful Memories Dining Furniture made of golden finished solid oak. Truly heirloom quality because it's built with good old-fashioned pride. Memories Dining Suit furnished by Keller for you, Mike. And valued at more than $2,500. Now, that's the grand prize. Along the way, Mike, we got some other prizes and they are. Well, number one, Creator's Portable Safe Heat Convection Space Heater that features state-of-the-art energy-saving heating elements, automatic settings, and built-in safety controls. Safe heat furnished by Creator's Incorporated. On round two, when you need a chainsaw, look for a dealer who really knows his product and backs it up. Look for a Poland chainsaw dealer. Poland, no matter how you say it, the name means quality. And you can unclutter your kitchen with a KitchenAid trash compactor. It features exclusive litter bin and charcoal filter odor control. Mike, Good luck to you. All right, Mike, you know how we do it now. We got one prize for each question. At any time you want to take the prize that you've already won, it's yours. You can. You can stop and come back. You're still our champion. Give me four correct answers. You win all of those prizes. If you give me a wrong answer somewhere along the way, you forfeit what you've won. I've, right? got, to, I've got to try to go all the way, though, because the audience was real nice to me, and I kept chickening out. I can't. Now. We asked Christy <laughs> Lane. <laughs> we asked Christy Lane what song title best describes her. Did she say Joy to the World or One Day at a Time? I would say One Day at a Time. Let's see what Christy said. I would have to say the best song title that, uh, I mean, that the song title that would best describe me would be One Day at a Time. You got it. Right. Woo. You're one step up the ladder. We're going for the chainsaw. I'll You're going on. I got to go. We asked Christy if you could record a duet with anybody, who would it be? Did she say Lee Greenwood or Tom Jones? Lee Greenwood. Why do you say that? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what she said. I don't know. If I could record a duet with anyone, I think it would have to be Tom Jones. Oh, oh. oh. I came this close to changing my mind, too. Uh, well, you never know because you're just, you're going on intuition, and unless you know somebody pretty well personally, you There's can't no quite way. always figure them out. Be back next time? Yes, sir. You're a champ. You'll probably Appreciate be around it. for a while. Thank, Thank you, you, audience. Y'all are awfully nice. We'll see you next time when it's time to play Fandango. Bye.